On the third day from Christmas my true love gave to me a beer to help cure my insanity. Why am I insane? Because I'm working the night shift and I got no uh, no good sleep coming my way. Yeah. But also, you know what's insane? Trying to to read how sorry, how much words are just put on this can. Like honestly, you could write like three Dr. Seuss books with how many words are on this can. It's crazy. But regardless, I am incredibly excited to try this beer with with y'all and review it for you. The Flying Monkeys Chocolate Manifesto Triple Milk Stout. One, I really like chocolate milk stouts, or just milk stouts in general. Two, I really like Flying Monkey Brewing Company because they they have just great beers. Uh, there's there's no two ways around it. They're They've had some, some fantastic uh, milkshake IPAs, they've had some other fantastic IPAs, so I'm really happy to, to try a milk stout from them. Yeah, their, their slogan up top here is, brew fearlessly. Uh, I, I, I guess that's the premise of, you just get an idea and you just go with it. Go with confidence, do the best or the most bold brewing that you can think of with that idea. I don't know. Fearlessness. Uh, tell me what you think fearlessness is is down in the chat. And uh, tell me a time in your life that you've uh, exhibited fearlessness. Man, I just sound like a, a job recruiter or a job interviewer. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Yeah, yeah so uh, let me go grab a glass and I'll... Uh, Give this bad boy a pour. Hello! Got a, got my nice Guinness glass here for a nice stout. Because, you know, Guinness makes a, makes a, a really good stout. So, Guinness, if you want to sponsor us, please. So. Oh man, that, that honestly just smells like like chocolate milk. Like you open up your your uh, your bottle or jug or can or whatever you you drink chocolate milk out of. It just smells like chocolate milk. It doesn't even smell like beer. Oh, but oh, it smells so good. Like a like a dark chocolate milk though. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, that is. Super creamy. That is sweet. Oh yeah, that is super chocolatey, and it finishes like a nice coffee, like a nice dark coffee, like a, a like like black coffee. It's got a nice amount of, of kind of bitterness, a nice amount of, of astringency to it. Oh man, that's delicious. It also finishes nutty, which which in, in these types of beers I really like. I think it was uh, Nonsuch Brewing Company in Winnipeg. They had a, a very seasonal red ale or, or, or something like that when before they were brewing. Um, they, they did a thing at Flatlanders, I believe, and it was a, like a red nut Christmas ale. And to me, it just tasted like I was eating a bag of peanuts and it, it was so good. Um, this is, is very reminiscent of that. And I, I just love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? If you were someone that didn't like beers, I would have you try one of these because of how much um, it doesn't fit the typical beer taste. You know? It's it's so creamy and, and smooth and sweet, but it again, it finishes like a nice black coffee. Not just like a like a you know, a bad cup of coffee, but like a good cup of coffee. And I've had a lot of good cups of coffee in my day. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna I'm a drink more of it and let you know what I think, but I'm, I'm uh, expecting this bad boy to be in the, in the, the nines, nine and a half, maybe even a 10, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, welcome back. So now that I'm kind of done quite a bit more of this, I'll give this bad boy a uh, seven and a half, maybe an eight out of ten, despite my my initial reaction. And that's why it's good to have these 
these uh, follow-up little sessions just 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 between you and me. Don't don't, don't tell anyone else. This is a uh, yeah seven and a half, maybe an eight, seven seven to eight somewhere in there. It does get very very heavy, and this is coming from someone who is also very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just too much. So it's like a, a fine wine or a fine cognac or something like that. You don't need a whole lot. And and I find the, the bitterness in this, is the sweetness is good throughout, but the bitterness in this, it just gets a little bit heavy going down. So that's why I dropped the rating scale down. So I'd say that this, this here is like a like a nine and a half, and then everything after that, it just starts to, to, to go down uh, as far as the ratings go. So that's why I give this uh, cho triple chocolate milk stout from Flying Monkey Brewing Company uh, uh, overall a seven and a half. Um, it's solid. I'm still very glad I'm, I'm drinking it, but you know, oh boy, gotta be honest with you. And so that's uh, that's why I'm that's why I'm uh, giving it a seven and a half. So. Till, till next time, this has been a very successful day four of our 12 days of beer miss, whatever, 12 days of Christmas, 12 days of helping David overcome his deathly uh, fear of night shift by means of introducing some kind of stimulant that tries to help him sleep, but does it actually, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Till next time, till tomorrow, I guess. Uh, yeah. Brew on.